Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. And what I want to talk about in this video slash podcast is something which I will say is affects everybody. In my business, the close protection, investigations, business, etc. It's something I have to deal with on a regular basis. And that's people that are lying to me or people that are bullshitting me. Um, not telling me the truth or trying to give me a story thinking I'm that stupid that I'll believe their story. Now, there's various angles on this. First of all, if somebody's lying to me for whatever reason, or if somebody's trying to bullshit me, not only are they trying to cover up the facts behind an issue or behind a problem, usually. Personal stuff doesn't bother me because I don't really care about people's personal life. To me, it's all business. So first of all, they're trying to cover up the facts, which is one thing. They're trying to deceive me, which is one thing. The other thing is, which to me is the main problem, is they must think that I'm stupid to believe their bullshit. They must believe that I'm that stupid that I actually believe that what they're telling me is the truth. Well, you know what? I've been in this business, investigation, protection business for a long time now, almost 35 years. I've heard a lot of stories. I've seen a lot of things. I don't believe anything. I verify everything. I'm always looking for the story behind the story. And if there's a problem, what caused the problem? Why is there a problem? I want the truth. And generally, most things these days, I've seen it happen before, if I've not, not been involved in it before. And you know what? I'm not going to believe anything until it's checked, verified, et cetera, et cetera. There's one quote I use. I got an article up um, on this type of thing. It's on my blog. It's titled uh, First Impressions Last, but those afters are the most important, which is true. Even from if you're meeting people, and I've met, again, first meets with people, once they start spewing the bullshit of how important they are, what they've done, etc., it usually only takes a few questions to get the truth out of them. Because I was just talking to somebody just now about this. I've seen how many people, you mean, claim to be able to do this, claim to be able to do that. They've done this, they've done that. And once they go out and or you give them a task and they fall flat on their face. But there's a quote by an American writer, Connor McCarthy. Uh, it says, I can normally tell how intelligent a man is by how stupid he thinks I am, which is true. I've come across a lot of people over the years and it's like so quite a few people or well, somebody recently and they're spinning you a story. It's obviously a story. You know it's a story, but they're still trying to give you this story, which is complete bullshit. I would say they obviously think you're stupid or they're delusional, they have a mental health problem, that they think that they're more intelligent than everybody else and everybody's gonna believe their bullshit. I mean, some people do. I've got other stories on where, another story for another time, where somebody, just one that's come to mind, somebody bullshitted some supposedly intelligent people and got them into a lot of trouble and lost them a lot of money. But again, that's because these People had a lot of money and they wanted to believe the story. I think it was, uh, they were too bored and uh, they liked hearing stories as a lot of wealthy people do. But again, back down to base level. Um, to me, if somebody is a habitual liar, habitual bullshitter, and I have the guys work with me, work for me over the years that work. You know what? They can be good enough guys. You just can't believe anything coming out of any, any truth coming out of their mouths any words coming out of their mouths. It's just, they're good for certain taskings, but they're limiting themselves at the lower end of the market. They're never gonna go any higher because everybody knows that they are a bullshitter. And once, there's how many sayings out there, it's like, you can spend a lifetime building trust in somebody and it takes one incident to lose that trust completely. Yeah, I believe that 100%. I've had incidents with people where they've gone out their way and people I've known for a long time and all of a sudden they're bullshitting for whatever reason. And it's like, okay, you've just, uh, this is no way you're gonna be trusted again with anything above your level. From a management point of view, you know what I mean? A lot of people that lie and bullshit could be their personality. Okay, no worries. Are they, are they gonna do you any harm or are they harmless? 
if they're harmless and they can be used and they can be employed, okay, good to go. But it's understanding these people and understanding their limitations. If you think it's good, especially in the close protection investigations business to, they say in other businesses to fake it until you make it, I say don't do it. Don't fake anything. Why? It's a very small world. Uh, people can check you out. People can find out your background and actually verify what you've done. And there's a lot of people out there in the business who have questionable backgrounds. And it usually only takes some people to do some sniffing. And when their backgrounds are exposed or lack of background is exposed, they tend to disappear pretty quickly. So this is where I always tell people I'm big on be humble, be truthful, etc. That will get you a lot, lot further than bullshitting people, than trying to impress people. If you make mistakes, and I always tell my guys and girls that work for me, if you make a mistake, tell me. Why? Because at least then I can do my best to, how can we put it, limit the damage or rectify the damage before it happens, before it gets to the client and gets out of control. I've had it where clients have phoned me up and asked me about certain issues and I've been like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I've, then I've had to rectify the issues and ended up firing people, etc. You know what? If the guys and girls or guys that had made those problems and caused me those problems had called me up beforehand, I might be able to do, I might have been able to uh, rectify the problem before the client heard about it and we had a big problem. But again, that's people, that's life. And I have had some people, instance, come to mind who have caused me big problems, business problems, and have been in complete denial that they caused the problems, even though the only person that could have caused the problem and did cause the problem was them. But it's always somebody else's fault, right? You know what? Business, especially the investigations and close protection business or any type of business is about dealing with problems. It's about making mistakes. Um, if you're, it's a fact of life in general, but you need to be able, you need to have the balls that if you're making mistakes, uh, to admit that you're making mistakes and not try to bullshit your way out of it. Why? Because by bullshitting and lying, one, usually you're not that clever and you end up making a bad situation even worse. And then you end up getting the reputation for being untrustworthy, a liar, a bullshitter, etc. Which, if you don't lose your job, you're going to end up limiting your prospects in the future greatly. So, a little bit of wisdom there. In the meantime, follow me along on social media. I've got a lot more of these videos out there on various aspects of business, close protection, investigations, kidnap and ransom, etc. Check out my books on Amazon. They cover an array of security issues. Also, crime fiction. We also supply an array of security consultancy services, investigations, protection services, etc. So, check out my social media. Follow me along on social media. If the, if the content we got up doesn't answer your questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will get back to you. Um, so, in the meantime, be good, stay safe, stay out of trouble and have the balls to tell the truth. If you don't have the balls to tell the truth, um, I pity you. <laughs>